If you are living in an unrepentantly sinful lifestyle, all you are doing is heaping up the hellfire that will consume your soul. That's what uh, uh, Romans chapter 2 verse 5 says. That we are heaping up, you, you, you're storing up wrath. God ain't did nothing to me yet. I'm still sneaking, doing what I'm doing because I, I, I don't, nobody can't see me. I'm still doing what I'm doing. And God said, okay. You just stacking wood on the fire. You just bringing more wood to the fire because you will burn well. Because mm. I believe it's um, I believe it's First John, First John, the book of First John, where he says, and I, if y'all remember this on the prayer line, where he says, uh, those who are in Christ do not sin. And what 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 John was saying was not that we don't sin at all, not sin is perfection, but we don't live in a habitually sinful lifestyle. If I know I'm in sin, I don't stay in the sin and claim to be of Christ. Because guess what? You claim you know Christ. He said, if you know me, if you love me, you'll do what? Keep my commandments. So then if you're not keeping his commandments, you show me you don't love him. And your father is not God. Your father is the devil. My and Lord. therefore, for the sinful lifestyle you choose to stay in, you have shown me that you don't believe. Because if you believe, there should come some type of change in your life. Doesn't mean we all change at once. Don't mean we change overnight. But there should be some change. My Lord. A believer does not stay the same. Because if I believe that Jesus Christ is coming back, then I believe I need to be ready for him because he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. Therefore, I can't continue in this habitually simple lifestyle. I can't continue to, to cheat on my wife. I can't continue to cheat on my husband. I can't continue to cheat on my taxes. I can't continue to, 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 to cheat in school. <laughs> but this, these, these things, because remember what, 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 what the Bible says, it says it's going to be these little foxes. The little things that you think Ain't nothing that non actually you just, you, go ahead, go ahead. It ain't convicting you enough because your conscience has been seared. You have been in this mess so long that you don't want to, you, you, can't, you can't turn it loose now. I'm having too much fun. Remember what I said at the beginning? Sin will always take you further than you're willing to go. Sin will always keep you longer than you're willing to stay. And sin will always cost you more than you were ever willing to pay. Verse 6. And I'm done. One day, sooner or later, and the way things are looking, Soon. Ukraine and, and, and Russia That's and all right. the wars, wars and what? Rumors of wars. He said, see that you be not alarmed because this is just what? The beginning of sorrow. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We're going to see some more. Oh, yes. And they're baiting the United States. Trust and believe that. They're baiting the United States. Because guess what? If the United States goes to war with Russia, oh, they, they want to go. Oh, yeah. But if they go, they got to worry about China on this side. They got to worry about different ones on this side and that side. Can't beat them all. Can't fight, all, can't fight on all fronts. So you better be, you better be smart. Which one you get into? So then, the great superpower that we knew America was when we were coming up, you ain't looking like that no more. Now you're looking weak. Now I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't here promoting nobody voting for whoever. I will say this: when you do vote, when you look at that ballot and you look at these people, what they're running for, and. You vote for this one, and this one is running for on a campaign that is promoting homosexuality. Oh, wow. You better say, if I check my name on that box, is God going to be pleased with me? Not so. Because when God said that homosexuality is an abomination to Him, and we check our box to to vote for that person, then we're saying, and I just preached this what the last Sunday, we're saying. Check. I hate God. Mm -hmm. I hate God too. And you say, well, I ain't saying I hate God. They're saying they hate God, and you voted for them. 
And so then guess what? If this person don't like me because of the color of my skin, I can't vote for you either because you're sinful. So then, Lord, what do I do? Well, I got it easy. I got it easy out for everybody. The Bible says what is not done of faith is what? Sin. Sin. So then if you check a box where they say accepting the lesser of two evils, if you check this box, well, this man hate me from the skin, but that ain't as bad as homosexuality, so I'm going to check for him. Guess what? You still check for an unrepentant sinner who, and mind you, I'm not saying that everybody who's running got to be saved because we know that's not going to be the case. However, if I can find sin in the Republican Party and you full of it, and I can find sin over here in the Democratic Party and you full of it, and then they got somebody running in the middle, and he ain't got a chance in the world to win, but he, 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 he ain't running with nothing crazy, even though he ain't got a chance to win, and I, 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 I just got to go for both of that. But then if you can't trust none of these jokers, let them all go and don't vote because there is nothing in the word of God that says you have to vote. That is what the world says. If you don't vote, don't speak. That ain't, that ain't in here. My master didn't tell me that. My master said, I got a lot to say. And he says, and whatever he says is what I speak. And I don't speak nothing more and I dare not speak nothing less. I don't fight with nobody you want to vote. Vote, vote, vote to you fall out. <laughs> but make sure, make sure, when you check that box, you're not checking I hate God too. Yes, no. 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 Because the Bible says, if we, if we love God, if we honor God, he says, you'll hate what I hate. And you'll, what, you'll love what, what I, I love. Hate. So then if we don't hate what God hates, that means we hate him too. Because God said, the ones who commit these sins hate him. They do because they hate God. One day Jesus is coming back and there will be judgment for each and every one of us. Inside the house of God and outside of the house of God, we all got to stand in front of Jesus in judgment. Now, the difference is those who are outside of the house of God, their final destination will be hell. My Lord. Those who are in the house of God, those who are true believers, who are truly saved, we ain't got to worry about hell. But there will be different ranks in heaven. There will be different levels of glory in heaven. That somebody going, and some people might say, I don't care as long as I get in. And I used to think that way, and I kind of still do. But at the same time, if I'm suffering through all of this stuff I got to go through down here, and, and y'all pray for me, I got to go to dialysis uh, education tomorrow. I'm suffering through all this stuff down here. And then I want, I'm, I'm, all of us won't just make it into heaven. At least when I get there, I want to start a crown in the road. I want to just be the door letting everybody else in. I just went through all this. Let me get it. Let me get something. Huh? And then guess what? I want to be one of the elders when Jesus is on the throne and they, they cast their crowns at his feet and say, forget this crown. Forget this robe. It's about him. Yes. The one who is, the one who was, and the one who is oh. to come. Yes. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. Yeah. Amen. He was slain Thank for you. me. Amen. The least I can do is get something out of it. But the Bible says that there will be people who did works. And I'm not saying this about uh, Kirk Franklin. I'm just saying in my mind, when I think about this particular scripture, this is what comes to mind. I think about Kirk Franklin. And he does, and again, I'm not calling him to question his salvation. I don't know that's between him and God. I don't know. But let's assume that he's a saved person. He makes a lot of music. Some of it good, some of it not so good. Some of it has a good message. Some of it is just music. But there are going to be people who come in front of Jesus, and Jesus is going in judgment, and he's going to judge their works. The, the believers, we're going to be judged by our works. What good did we do for him? What did we do for the kingdom? And he's going to look at some of our works. And like I said, I think about some of these Kirk Franklin songs that make you move, make you dance, but they ain't talking about nothing. Those works will be burned up. But his soul will be saved. He won't go to hell. But his, he, 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 he won't get next on his crown for that. And like I said, I use that as an example. I'm not saying God is the judge of that. 
I'm just saying that's kind of how I can, uh, you know, give y'all an example of, of what, when we get judged, he's, we ain't got to worry about going to hell, but he's going to say, and what did you do your whole life? What, what did you do? You did a little this, a little that. Okay. All right, you get one star. And then Mother Fred, you did, you gave your life for this thing. You get starved. You get starved. And you get starved. You get starved. You get starved. And people look at you and say, look at her. She's blessed, honored by God himself. And then here I go walking in. And what did you do? Well, Lord, I, um, you know what, just, just, just let me in. I ain't <laughs> <laughs> and you walk in and he kind of give you a little boot like that and say, I ain't, I ain't mad. I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm in the building. Right. It could have been another way. So, um, I pray, I'm done. I pray I said something that was, um, uh, I hope y'all keep this message in your mind. I pray that I um, said something that was useful for you. I pray that I said something that was, um, Stir your soul. Um, let us stand.